this chapter may be the greatest chapter, not just in My Hero Academia in the year of 2020, but in My Hero Academia, period. Let's get right into the review with a double snap. Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Big Blue Drew 97 here, coming at you with another manga review for My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 290 titled Dobby's Dance. And uh Yeah, um in this chapter uh we get maybe the biggest reveal in the entire just series of My Hero Academia. No, not who's the true identity of all for one no not the uh, true identity of deku's father but we get the reveal of who dobby is in this chapter and who might he be i don't know but if you want to know you may want to you know subscribe to my youtube channel leave a like and a comment down below talking about this chapter and maybe at the end i'll reveal who he is Ooh. <laughs> so let's get right into the review though. We start the chapter off with um, a really concerning scene. We have a bunch of people running in the hospital talking about how they need to get over to room 315, which if you didn't know, that is actually the room where Rei Todoroki is in her hospital. It's her hospital room. And they want to make sure that uh, they cut off her TV. And why might that be? Well, we really don't know as of now. All we know is that uh, for some apparent reason, uh, Dobby has appeared on her screen and she has a weird look on her face. Ooh, what could that possibly mean? I don't know because we immediately cut over to Giganto Machia destroying the city at the location of Shigaraki where we have Shigaraki and all for one basically having a conversation with each other that can basically be summed up as all for one telling uh, Shigaraki wow you've taken a whole lot of damage a full blunt blow from one for all and endeavor to power and you're still alive that's amazing but since Gigantamaki is here uh, you're gonna have to retreat yeah so Shigaraki has taken so much damage to the point where like he can barely stand his body's able, barely able to like keep itself together and because Gantamaki is here all for one is basically telling Shigaraki uh to leave with Gantamaki and um if he doesn't leave uh he will most likely die where we immediately get a uh, Shoto coming in is like yo uh I have to either defeat Gantamaki or Shigaraki uh Shigaraki is weakened so I'll go after him and Nejire has the exact same idea. And you have basically all for one looking at this. It's like, yeah, um, they won't give us a break, will they? As we see uh, she, as we see Shigaraki taking the full blast attack of Nejire and Shoto. You have Nejire using output 100, green flood. And we finally get to see Shoto Todoroki's like ultimate move thermal revolution flash freeze heat wave as we see that he takes a whole lot of damage she rock takes a whole lot of damage but never is telling them to leave because as soon as they deliver this damage to shigaraki uh giganto Machia comes in grabs his uh, master and sends nejire and shoto flying and then you also have ida who's carrying bakugo and he's like yo we got to get out of here uh and Bakugo, as always, is like, no, I have to stay. I have to get this flawless victory. And, you, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's Bakugo, all right. But then we get Gigantamaka basically talking to his master, talking to Shigaraki to give him a, like, request. Give him an order as we get the League of Villains also finding that Shigaraki is basically burnt to a crisp. And I think at this moment in time, Shigaraki is down for the count. But here's something very interesting and cool, and this is leading into the reveal of who Dobby is, because you have Endeavor, who's like making sure that uh, Shoto, if he's all right, and he's thinking to himself, and how he wants to apologize to Hawks, and how like he has to defeat that monster, and how he has 
to be the hero that he needs to be even though his lungs are burnt and we think of like the moment where we saw him be crowned the number one hero and how he wants the world to watch him as he is now the number one hero and how it's his duty to be the hero of this nation but then Dobby chimes in and from here on out until the end of this chapter is basically the reveal of who Dobby is and who could he possibly be? I don't know. They are looking at him and it's like Dobby as both Shoto and Endeavor know him as, but then you have Dobby who's like, ah, oh, come on. Don't call me by that uh, evil villain moniker. Why don't you call me by my actual name? Which you know is Toya. <gasps> Shock! Gasp! So unexpected! It's not like the entire My Hero Academia fandom predicted this outcome! Here's the thing. We all, everyone knew, every single person that is reading and watching My Hero Academia up until season 3 and 4, know for a fact that Dobby is Toya, that Dobby is a total rookie. They've all known this. Even to the point where Dobby makes a comment in the chapter about, come on, you should know what I look like by, from by my face. Come on, we're family. We've all known this. But what makes this chapter amazing? What makes this reveal amazing is not just Dobby telling the world, because that's what he's doing, telling the world that he's a Todoroki. It's how he does it because you have him basically talking about this and we have Deku who also comes to this realization of like Toya, Toya, he's the older brother of the Todorokis. And then from here, here's where the master of this reveal comes in, where you basically have Dobby who is broadcast himself across the entire internet, including the monitor of his mother in the hospital as he announces himself in this pre-recorded video that he is Toya Todoroki, how he is the oldest son of Endeavor, how he killed 30 people and that he's gonna explain the reason why. And he basically explains it as the reason why he's doing all of this, the reason why all of this is happening is because of Endeavor and how he forced his mother to marry him, forced her to have children, to have the perfect child of ice and fire and how my fire itself is that of endeavors as we cut over to the destruction of the city of a child crying over their parent under rubble bleeding as we see the one kid who is in that meme with the in the pro hero art that supported endeavor is watching this video as dobby is basically explaining to the world as well as to shoto and Inji todoroki like why he's doing all of this and to make it even worse he even tells them like his plan of trying to take down Inji. because here's the thing dobby this entire time is dancing but he's basically telling endeavor and shoto like why he's doing this we even get like his connection with a natsuo natsu where he's like asking like why he's alive he's questioning his existence and like why this is all happening and he's blaming it all on endeavor and how he had this plan to and i and this makes it even more messed up he had a plan to kill his own brother to kill shoto the kill the child Inji todoroki wanted him to be to kill him when he becomes like a pro hero becomes number one hero but then he changed his plans when endeavor became the number one hero he's like oh i couldn't miss this chance and then from here we get another reveal about how he wanted him to die in Kyushu, Kyushu um, against that uh, pro uh, in, during the pro hero arc when he fought that high in Nomu. Even though it was coincidental, it seems as if that was all according to his plan. Even to the point where he also sent Fallen Light and Ending. Remember those villains? The villains that Endeavor fought at the beginning of the uh, time where uh, Endeavor Agency arc, where Shoto, Baku, and Deku worked under Endeavor, 
that was all a part of his plan as well and he, like i said he begins to like talking about how he's the number one hero how you're trying to build more familiar bonds how you're trying to be a father figure how you're trying to better yourself how you're trying to look towards the future but let me just give you like a little lesson he's basically tells endeavors like but l l let me tell you something um yeah the past never forgets doesn't matter what you do you're reaping what you sow so you know what let's fall together come dance with me with our with your son in hell basically sum up what he said you may be trying to better yourself you may be looking forward to the future but the past will always follow you i you must reap what you sow and i am what you sowed so come and let's die together as the chapter ends. And let me just say this. Oh my gosh, this is an amazing chapter. Like I said, this may be the best chapter of My Hero Academia, period. Even though, yes, we knew that uh, Toya Todoroki was Dobby. It's the execution. It's the dialogue. It's the fact that this is all planned, not just from Hirokoshi's side, but from the villain side himself. Even to a uh, noticeable point of the first time we see Dobby is that he's standing in front of a beauty store, implying that maybe his hair is dyed. That's something that someone made a comment about in a Discord that I was in, and like, that's just amazing. This chapter is the pinnacle of how great this war arc has been so far. Everything that we've been reading, everything that we've made of watch has been about Shoto. When we first got his backstory and how he, his character development, Endeavor's character development was all coming to this point where they basically get crushed and destroyed. Right now, Endeavor's popularity, kaput. His ratings, down. People are probably going to ask for his head on a stake. Like, revoke his title as number one hero. All of society is going to lose hope because of endeavors like history being revealed to the world through Dobby, his own son. And even that's going to crush him even more. Coming to a realization that he didn't kill his son. His son was still alive this entire time. Think about Natsuo, how he's going to feel, about Fuyumi, how she's going to feel, how Rei is feeling right now watching a recording of her son that she thought was dead. This may be the greatest repercussion to ever happen to be that will be felt across this entire story. What happens right here, right now in this chapter, has literally changed everything and nothing will at this moment can compare to this reveal and this change not the reveal of all for one not the reveal of deku having multiple quotes not even the reveal of shigaraki having all for one. this reveal has changed more than any other reveal in the past and i'm standing by that statement so that's my review of this chapter. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm very excited about this chapter. Can't wait for the official release to come out. And we're not on break next week. So we're going to continue from what we saw in this chapter in the next chapter. And what's going to happen in the next chapter? I don't know. Shigaraki may wake up until he got Makia to escape. Every... It's basically this may be like just the climax of this chapter climax of the story and the next chapter is going to be the following resolution the villains may escape this could be considered the heroes win but in actuality the villains won this like if it wasn't for the fact that shigaraki is most likely injured they could have wiped out all of the heroes instantly with gets makia but shigaraki may be like my ah, we've done enough we don't need to do any more right now. I need to recover. We need to mourn for twice. We'll leave. And then even if like this is seen as the heroes win, like Hero Society has lost hope. Like the fact that the pro hero, uh, top hero is just Endeavor and how horrible he is. Hero Society is gonna crumble. 
And most likely, now that people know that Shigaraki is going to be after Deku, this may lead to like more heroes going after Deku. And Deku in this class may have to leave the country, flee the country to flee away from Shigaraki. And then Japan just may be in panic. Just may be no way of saving it at this moment until Deku and the gang come back and save the world from the villains. But right now, society in My Hero Academia has changed. Ain't going back. Nothing else we can do about it. So, hopefully you enjoyed this review. I enjoyed recording it. Leave a like and a comment on what you think is going to be happening next chapter. And I will catch you in the next video. All that cool jazz. And I'll catch you guys later. Whew.